So today, pag-uusapan naman natin ang worst and best intake para sa international students. So if you want to continue watching, make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you want me to create more videos about international students. Yun ang trigger sa akin that I will continue pushing out content like this. My name is Coach MCN and you're watching SLE Canada and we do help international students to find their career path dito sa Canada. I make videos about career growth, immigration, and inspirational stories dito sa Canada. So today, pag-uusapan natin ang three intakes dito sa Canada. So we have three intakes. There is fall, winter, and summer intake sa Canada. When you say fall, that will start from September till December. When you say winter, that will start from January until April. And when you say summer, that will actually start from May until July or August. Pero bago tayo mag start, let's have a quick game. So you have to guess what would be the worst intake. You have to comment down kung ano yung guess nyo if May or September or January. And then let's see if we have the same answer. So now let's start with fall or September intake. So one of the pros of September intake is the moderate weather. So pag fall, hindi na snow, hindi rin ganun kainit. So this is gonna be the perfect weather for international students. And ang napansin ko din, a lot of programs are available during fall intake. So 80% of the programs are going to be available ng September. So if you check nyo yung admission rate, there will be higher chances for you to get into the admission. So let's say you can either get two programs actually as your option one and option two. So best intake for you to get the program is actually September. And another thing which is the pros of uh, fall intake is job opportunity. So during fall, and daming mga happenings dito sa Canada. There's Thanksgiving, there's also Christmas, no? Kailangan nila dito ng part-time students. So maraming job opportunities dito sa Canada when it's September. Now let's talk about the cons of fall intake. One of the cons would be the fast track program. Hindi masyadong available ang fast track program during fall. So, I'm going to explain the fast track program when we move on to January intake. And another cons of fall intake is maraming competition when it comes to jobs kasi lahat na international students are flocking inside Canada during fall. So, ngayon, kailangan maganda yung resume mo, girl. Another thing na cons ng fall intake would be housing. Sobrang hirap humanap ng housing dito sa Canada kasi ang daming students na nagahanap din ng housing. So you really have to be prepared before coming to Canada. Siguro nakapag-connect ka na sa mga students or yung mga uh, kakilala mo dito sa Canada and seek help when it comes to finding your accommodation. Now let's move on to winter intake or the January intake. So, ito yung intake na tinake ko no, when I was still a student. So, in January intake, we're gonna talk about the pros and the pros would be the Fast Track program. I actually took Fast Track program sa Nova Scotia Community College. And what I like about Fast Track program is matatapos ka agad. So, most of my batchmate I still nag-aaral pa rin, pero ako, graduate na and about to apply and completing my PR application. So, yung mga kabatch ko, during that time, they still waiting for their PR until now. But for me, I was able to get my PR right away. So, that's a good thing for Fast Track program. And I explain ko din later kung ano yung cost opportunity if you would be getting a Fast Track program. So, make sure na i-watch na to until the end. Kasi, i-explain ko yung magkano yung masisave nyo and magkano yung kikitain nyo if you opt for January or May or September intake. Another pros of January is that pag na-miss nyo yung fall intake, you can still be able to get a program during January. So, ma medyo mataas din yung admission rate on January kasi marami namang available programs pag January. Pero ngayon, let's talk about the cons. So, major cons ng January intake would be Hulaan nyo. 
weather. So, syempre, winter, mas mahirap humanap ng trabaho, mas mahirap ding humanap ng bahay. But then again, depende talaga sa tao because when I came here to Canada, it was winter and also I was able to get a job less than two weeks and I was also able to get a house for my accommodation in less than I think two weeks as well. Even before I got here sa Canada, meron akong bahay at trabaho. So, depende talaga yan sa tao minsan. But again, for some people, it will be really challenging for them to get a job and housing as well during uh, the winter intake. Let's move on to the May or summer intake. So, isa sa mga pros of summer intake would be the weather. So, summer, maraming lumalabas, maraming restaurants, and maraming din mga amusement parks. So, meaning, maraming trabaho para sa'yo. You have less competitions then, kasi, since maraming trabaho, mababa ang supply ng international student during May, which is I'm gonna explain later kung bakit. And also, it's easy for you to find your accommodation kasi most of the students na like start ng September, they're actually about to finish the program. So, mas madali kang makakahanap na accommodation when it comes to May intake. Now, let's move on to the consequence. Since May intake, Hindi lahat ng colleges and universities dito sa Canada have programs during May intake. Most of the time, ang available ng May intake will be internship and co-op. And napansin ko din when it comes to May intake is that mas longer siya compared with other um, intakes dito sa Canada. I actually found this out when I asked Selkirk College about their May intake. So, sometimes you have to start like May, two courses ng May, you have five courses ng September, and then you have another two courses ng January, another courses ng your next intake. Uh, in total, I think you will be uh, getting five intakes, so it will be longer than the usual intake like January and fall. So make sure that you check your admission once you decide that you want to opt for the May intake. So in a nutshell, for September intake, although you have a lot of job opportunities, you have a lot of programs available during this intake, it's gonna be harder for you because it's competition again and also it will be harder for you to get a house during fall. But compared with uh, winter, although you have less job opportunities during winter, this is actually the best time for you to focus on your studies and take advantage of the fast track program. You know, you finish the program in shorter period of time, but still be able to get up to three years post graduation work permit. On the other hand, for May intake, although na maraming trabaho and you have this amazing weather, as soon as you arrive in Canada, the only problem is hindi ka naman pwede magtrabaho full-time kasi you're studying full-time sa school. So, overall, for me, this is only my opinion. Calculating the opportunity cost and also the pros and cons, the worst intake, the worst intake would be May intake. So, this is not to discourage you to take May intake. If you think that you have the best program for this intake, grab that opportunity. But, I want to see your comment below if you got the right answer not the right answer if we have the same answer but tell me what you think would be the worst intake for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys